Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons series, season two. You may notice I have been a little busy crafting up the components that we need. Um, I think it's finally time to get a sensor. I've been putting this off for quite a while. And... There it is. I don't know why we got this. I think we got it from a... Did we get this from a... Uh, a loot bag or something? I don't know why I have one extra. Or a quest. Probably got it from like a quest. Just throw uh, some more food in there. Man, I love these tin cans. Just personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Spice Life's mom. Spice of a life mod but uh yeah this kind of lets you skip that so i am just crafting up the last of this stuff right here um i figured um i need to craft up some capacitors and i figured why not let's start doing Let's like do this, I think. Uh, you get 24. I can do the other capacitors. <clears throat> uh, where are they? There they are. Uh, it's pretty similar, but you get so much less. So I'm like, why don't we, if this is using ethylene anyway, why don't we get the polyvinyl chloride? Now, there might be somewhere. Oh, it's right here. So it wants us to do six. I mean, should we? This gives us even more ethylene. We get some circuits. Might as well do this. Um, so I need some more chlorine. I think I only had two, two things there. Yeah, I only have two things of chlorine. Chlorine's easy enough with uh, so salt. Wherever my... I can't remember where my salt is because <laughs> I'm a bit disorganized. Yeah. Bunch of salt. We can get a bunch of chlorine from this. Also, there is, you get chlorine from quite a few places. Um, I think I was getting it from like uh, Lazarite or some, one of those. I, I don't remember which one we were getting it from. Sodalite. So we can see we can get it from. Sodalite is pretty easy. A lot of these are already, you mix chlorine with something to get these, so I wouldn't <laughs> go out of your way for that. Even Appetite. We get so much Appetite from uh, the Appetite Fane. I think we get 12 from that. Uh, I think eventually we will probably be doing salt water to get our chlorine and hydrogen, I think. But uh, for now, you know, I'm just kind of doing salt. So rock salt is good. You get potassium and chlorine. Although potassium doesn't really have any uses. Uh, maybe we might have added some uses for that. There wasn't much use for this. I mean, you can do, those are pretty helpful later on. But uh, yeah, so plenty of chlorine there from salt um if i wanted to i could just go throw this on a salt vein i believe the miner i mean um yes i do have a salt vein relatively close so yeah but uh like i said i think i'm going to <clears throat> do this now i think in i know i've like this is super super compact um it's just kind of worked out like that this wasn't super intentional um one of the main reasons is because i haven't upgraded these hatches once i get these hatches upgraded to hv we will be moving this out of the way finally um and having it supplied directly from this i just haven't got this done yet because the hatches 
are a bit annoying. Oh, look at that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I literally was just talking about that. Um, it wasn't intentional, but uh, yeah, I was like, oh, this doesn't have any uses. And I literally just found a use for it. That's pretty funny. You can use helium as well. Actually, sodium potassium is probably way easier at this point. Um, but we need an upgraded assembler. So that is that bit of a gate um, for that. But all right. Anyway, let me finish getting the ethylene. Oh, what I was trying to say is I think I should have a dedicated ethylene producer at this point. I think we have all this heavy oil. Might as well be processing it. So thinking... Hmm, what do I want to do? Actually, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that quest gives two good circuits. I can actually use those circuits to get another distillery, an MV1. Maybe I should just wait. All right, I just convinced myself <laughs> that I, oh, before I craft that up, actually. No, I just need to produce the ethylene. Let me get, let me get this ethylene produced, and we'll be back. Okay, you may notice a couple spiders all over the place. Uh, I just had a uh, a blood moon. What the was that flying? That looked like it was flying. Stay off my. Uh, Stay off my bob, uh, my tree farm. But, uh, oh, hello. Blinding Enderman. Is he actually gonna come back? It's daytime. I, I doubt he's gonna come back. Man, those Endermen destroying the, uh, the train. Anyway, uh, also totally forgot that I had some capacitors crafted up in here. But uh, I'm still gonna finish this uh, this thing up. I am just gonna go ahead and craft up a advanced chemical reactor using a couple of my circuits because I just want to get this kind of automated, and then I will use the two good electronic circuits that we get from this quest, craft up a another distillery. Now I have crafted up some tin foils. All right, that is annoying. I'm gonna have to deal with that in a second, but. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to cover up these cables. You can just put the the tin foils on them. You can do any of the foils. Um, you can do any of the plates, I believe, or another thing. Uh, not those. Any of these plates if you want, but uh, I just kind of did tin. I had a lot of tin. It sort of matches a little bit, and that way we don't have cables showing. I could do more over here if I want, but... Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I need, I'm waiting for 12 buckets of that, I think. This may actually be a bit of an issue. Because uh, the distillery, uh, the, I think this recipe is actually pretty, no, this one isn't. It's the, the desulfurizing or whatever is actually quite power hungry. So I may have a bit of an issue over here with it not getting enough power. But uh, I think I'm just going to do what I did here. Pipe into a distillery and pipe into the distillery like right here. I think. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for 12 buckets. We're almost there. Pretty slow. Um, it's going to speed up much, much faster once we get to the distillation tower. But uh, it is what it is for now. We have a decent amount of oil. I'm not drilling anything. I just need to go throw some more fuel in there and we'll get another thousand buckets of oil so that is not an issue All right so that's that also i am 
While I'm waiting for that, you may notice there is some electric pumps, and that is because I'm finally going to get round to crafting up a reservoir. And this is infinite water uh, because if I have stuff running, um, we are draining those tanks. Uh, if I have the electrolyzer working to get uh, hydrogen and oxygen. So I just want to uh, replace that with a reservoir. We won't have to worry about any of that. So I do need 14 plates. Let's just uh, throw that in there. And then this glass is pretty easy. Just some nether quartz. Glass. You can even use sort of quartz dust and glass. Uh, whatever we have the most of. I can't remember what I have. Dug up. All right, we have tons of surface quartz. I don't know if we have a ton of nether quartz, but we definitely have a ton of surface quartz. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, let me finish this, and we will come back when we get the scanner. Okay, we are back. I am. Oh, I just realized I have way more than I realized. Um, I don't have a ton of cells because I put a bunch in here. I need to craft up more. For sure. But uh, I just got some tantalum. Be right there. Um, because tantalum, if you tantalite, uh, if you electrolyze it, you actually get two tantalum dust. And with that, I can do the tantalum foils. We'll see that in a second. Now, I remember this is in there. I think it is a one. And I just need a bunch of oxygen which now that i have a reservoir we'll go look at it really quick um i have much more oxygen oops to produce uh vinyl chloride to produce a lot of stuff so that is pretty cool yeah i just i finished crafting up the reservoir threw it on the roof uh, just right here. I did disconnect that. Uh, I haven't broken down yet, though. Um, but yeah, you just basically two, put two buckets of water in there. You hit it with a wrench. A regular Greg Tech wrench works. You don't need the Ender IO wrench or anything. Um, and then it'll auto output into the water pipes. So we are good there. Also, I did notice that. Uh, Maybe a couple of coke ovens that are completely full on creosote. So I think that means uh, we need to uh, increase the size of that boiler. The steam power is just so amazing. And I think uh, we need more steam power. But uh, all right, there we go. There is our tantalum. Now I just realized, did I get credit for that? I'm going to be really sad if I didn't get credit for that. Because I... No! <laughs> I put it in too fast! No! That makes me sad. Yeah, I picked it up and put it back in too fast. It didn't register. I mean... You saw me have it, right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that makes me sad. The car is sad. Alright, well, we have four. <laughs> that makes me sad all right but uh there we go there is our polyvinyl chloride sheets which now that i'm thinking about it probably is that quest i'll be right back okay so i decided i'm not gonna worry about <laughs> the that quest um but there are 
other quests that I have managed to complete that actually give more resources as well. So I've gone ahead and finished those and there is this quest. Uh, so we're ready to do that one. Um, gonna do this one also, I just haven't got around to doing that. But uh, the cool thing about the polyvinyl chloride now is that if we want, we can get uh, instead of doing polyethylene to one to one, we actually get a one to two. So just everything, just getting a little bit more uh, efficient. So the next one would be polytouchfluoroethylene. We get four, and then if we get even, this is like really end game plastic stuff. We actually get eight, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so there is that. I can actually, I need two of these. But I think we have everything at least for at least the one. Just double check. Yeah. Uh, I was moving stuff around. And like I said, this still isn't, um, I was about to say 100%. <laughs> Obviously not 100%. But uh, I do need to rearrange the stuff. So the clean room is not getting turned off. I am running the blast furnace. But, uh, all right, so that will be that. And then I guess let me just finish that up really quick. I also need the, uh, this thing, which is a bit annoying to craft up. I should have, yeah, let's just, we'll throw it in here. I know the other one's faster, but, uh, sometimes it's kind of annoying switching out the, the things all the time. But, uh, all right, let me do this really quick, and I'll finish this quest. Plastic circuit board is probably the best thing to take there as well. Um, there is the EV circuit. I don't think we're going to do that right this second. Also, is there... Yeah, the annoying thing is I have crafted that up before, but we didn't finish this quest. Yeah, sometimes the quests are frustrating. For sure. There is this. We're going to be doing this, though. Definitely going to be doing that. Okay. There we go. And I have screwed up. No. I did screw up something. <laughs> what did I? Which one did I screw up? I needed two of. Ah, it's eight capacitors. Whoops. I need more capacitors. I'm gonna wait for that to finish. I just don't want it to void. Yeah, some of the, all these like they're kind of hard to uh, keep track of all the different recipes for the same thing. All right, yeah, uh, yeah, because there's. There's like the one recipe, and then there's three different versions of it for tin, soldering alloy, and lead. And then it switches out all the different components. So like that capacitor, you need eight, and then that one, you only need two. And man, it's uh, <laughs> it's hard to keep track of them all. But uh, all right, there we go. We got our two of those. Let me complete that. I'm going to take that. That's easy to get. That's easy to get. And loot bags. Yeah, they can be all right. Sometimes we've gotten some decent things out of it, but uh, I'm not going to rely on random stuff. All right, advanced circuits. That's pretty cool. See, there we go. We got something cool out of that. Um, did we get more of that? Also, we got an energy crystal and blaze reed. All right. Well, we got some decent stuff from that. <laughs> uh, the blaze reed is pretty cool. Energy crystal is a EV. No, it's HV. It's like an HV battery if we want. So, yeah, that's cool. And then a uh, steel pole. We're going to need these eventually. It does look like this has... Well, maybe not. Well, no, that recipe has been changed. Um, I know a lot of the space stuff has changed, which we will get into that in a little bit. Actually, not that far away, to be honest. The space stuff uh, lapis is what I needed there. All right, 
there is our computer monitor display that and holy cow global scanner amazing oh look we had a quest for it i figured there was a quest somewhere um now i don't i think it's i want to say this is mv it did require an mv battery so yeah there we go um it won't i'm pretty sure it doesn't charge in the hv1 which makes me sad um we might if we wanted to really speed it up we could probably get a battery charger uh it does take way more amps but eh, it's pretty expensive and it doesn't really matter this charge will last us for quite a while but basically we can use it to right click on like anything we get tons of information now let's say all right so here is our batteries we can like click on that we can see how many amps we can get six amps how much power is going through it and uh yeah, there's so much cool stuff to know. Um, so, for example, we have that 126 EU is going through that. 124, 120. You can see it, like, dropping. So this one that we have way over here only has 108 EU per tick going through that. So any recipe that requires more than 108 EU per tick is eventually going to fail if we are running it for a long time now each each uh, machine does have an internal buffer this one has 8000 eu and basically what happens if you if you don't know how greg tech power works is so this this recipe is running so we if we click on that we can see there's 200 2048 eu and it even gives you progress and all sorts of stuff so uh this thing is super super awesome i love this portable scanner i wish it was actually available earlier it's just so helpful but uh what this recipe is going to be doing is it's going to be is it that one i think it's that one um it's going to be pulling thirty thousand eu it's going to be using 30 eu per tick which i believe it says on there yeah probably uses this isn't always correct but it says it's probably using 30 eu per tick well it pulls that from the internal buffer and then whatever it can take in it, it fills that buffer up so that is why sometimes you throw a thing in there and it runs for a little bit and then it fails but what it's done is pulled out of the internal buffer and it wasn't getting enough to keep filling it up or it might be just underneath it so it takes a while for it to uh, drop down um, and then uh, eventually it runs out and then it fails so you might get a couple processes out of it um, and then it fails but that's what it's doing it's pulling from the energy buffer now the same thing goes for the battery buffers these have an internal well these are the stored items uh i believe this is the internal buffer i think yeah i think this is the internal buffer and what basically what it does is it charges the batteries from this internal buffer um, so the amps that are coming in, as we can see, we can take in 8 amps there. Uh, it can take in 8 amps, and then it fills these all the batteries from the internal buffer. Um, which makes it much, much easier to uh, use batteries in Greg Tech New Horizons. Uh, it's, it works a little differently in Greg Tech Community Edition. Uh, that does not have an internal buffer, but anyway, we don't need to get into that. But, uh, yeah, so I love the, uh, the portable scanner. It does like everything. Blastness. We got, we can even see the pollution that we have in this junk, but we, we don't, pollution is disabled, but, uh, we can actually see what it is in this chunk. 
So not surprisingly, the chunk that has our blast furnace would have the most. And uh, I don't think, wasn't it 500,000 where you start getting bad effects from it? I can't remember, but uh, yeah, we actually got our portable scanner done. All right, let me, uh, I don't think we quite need this yet, <laughs> because that's eight processing assemblies and we need blue alloy which I haven't really kept an eye on Electrotene. We can make it if needed. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Let's get rid of that. Um, I think Assembler... Assembler and a HV Energy Hatch, I think, is going to be the next thing. Oh boy, is this expensive. That's four HV circuits. But uh, yeah, um, micro, we could actually get these relatively easy to craft up as well. And this makes getting circuits a thousand times easier. All right, I have decided to just go ahead and get these microprocessors. They are not too difficult to get. Basically the same as, almost the same as the integrated, um, just requires some less components and copper instead of the fine red alloy wire. Um, but the reason I want to get that is, um, I think it is time, also let me get, finish that well, some more of those I take uh, those plastic circuit boards um, I think it's time to finally get rid of this setup now I had an extractor here I haven't used that I can't remember the last time I used that extractor um, so I just broke it down threw it in my chest this is kind of like my old machine chest and uh, yeah so I need six six lv circuits to replace these and then i'm going to replace my high pressure macerator with an hv um but i'm not going to do that uh for this episode i will we'll come back and i'll have those all replaced um because they're really not that uh they're not that difficult to craft up um i'm just gonna do lv um, none of this stuff really needs to be super fast at the moment. And uh, eventually they'll be replaced if they need to be. What was the last one? Forge Hammer? Yeah. We'll look at that. I mean, like, an electric furnace, that is super easy. I just don't have the, the stuff for it quite yet. But, uh, yeah. Um, also... I just had a, another blood moon. That is why there is a whole bunch of a whole bunch of mobs around. It does actually work on that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Tank zero. Oh, the tank zero must be. Yeah, that's that water. Interesting. Um, but uh, ooh, let's do a quick backup just in case um because i'm going to add some more high pressure boilers to this also i think it's time to expand our our tank over there just because okay i wasn't i wasn't sure what was going to happen with that <laughs> uh, that's why we did the the backup oh it looks like it left the it just made it bigger, the tank. All right, cool. It didn't completely empty it. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, but uh, all right. So there is that. Yes, I can hear you. Also, I have started doing glass. Um, I just need to smelt more of my sand. All right, so that's that. Heard you, Enderman. There it is. Oh god. 
Oh, vengeance. Not fun. We're just gonna leave you alone. <laughs> no, leave me alone. No. <laughs> I think we'll be good. Vengeance uh, does damage to me. I don't. Oh man, come on. Oh, I guess it's not as late as I thought it was. Uh, vengeance will do damage to me when I attack him, so that's not very fun. But uh, all right, so uh, I'm gonna have to, like I said, gonna do some more. I just need to get some of this stuff crafted up. Uh, the Mace Raider is definitely important moving forward. And one of the reasons is we need lots of a gallium moving forward. And one of the things we need gallium for is the SMD transistors. So instead of using the black, these I want to switch to the transistors. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of circuits. I have been getting a bunch of plastic circuit boards here so I can get a bunch of HV circuits, energy hatch, assembly machine, and uh, yeah, I think we'll do that next episode because that's going to be pretty cool. Once we get the energy hatch, I can start kind of spreading this out and we will fix the little issue we have with our clean room when this blast furnace is running we can hear machines uh having issues when i have my blast furnace running because it's stealing all four amps from there if it's by this yep so anyway that's gonna be it for this episode we'll come back and uh see if we can press a bit more anyway thanks for watching and have a good one